six chic and stylish looks, one Zuvi halo hairdryer for summer 2022. Hello everyone, I hope you're all well and ready for lots of outfit ideas and inspiration. Today's video is very kindly sponsored by Zuvi, who make one hugely impressive or singing or dancing hairdryer. So I shall be styling my hair in a few different ways and pairing those looks with six different chic and stylish outfits for summer 2022. Let me start this by saying I am definitely one of those people who has put their hair through the mill. Over the years, I've gone from brunette to blonde to red to green by accident, to brown again, and finally settling on this little mixture that I've got going on now. But it's only as I've got older that I've realized the importance of taking care of your hair as much as possible. Because as we all know, when you don't, it can really show. For the first outfit idea, I'm going to do something straight and sleek and how I tend to style my hair on an everyday basis. So I've dried off the majority of my hair in fast mode and now I'm going to use the styling concentrator and move the setting over to style to get that really smooth frizz free look that I'm after. The Zuvi Halo hairdryer is inspired by nature's natural evaporation process. Their engineers really wanted to create a more natural, more sustainable and all round kind of for your hair dryer and I have to say the science behind it is very impressive. They've developed a technology called light care, which essentially dries water on the surface of your hair with light energy and warm air. But it's at a lower temperature than say traditional hair dryers without sacrificing any of the speed. The light care system also helps me retain two times more moisture in my hair, which I definitely need, and it will make my color last on average 57% longer. So less coloring, less heat means less damage, and less toll on the planet, just stronger, healthier looking hair. Happy days to that. So for this first outfit idea, I've gone with a new invest top with this really interesting neckline. I feel like I'm ticking the cutout fashion trend box in a really elegant and subtle way. And I just adore this shade of mink. I recently invested in a new strapless bra that works perfectly with these sorts of tops. So I shall link that in the description box too if anyone else needs one. As the top is quite eye-catching, I wanted to keep my bottom half quite simple and relaxed. So I went with my accrued jeans that have that typical chino shape. The old favorite strappy sandals are back out again. And to complete my summer look, that straw bag finishes the outfit off perfectly. Though the essence of the outfit idea is pretty casual, I think there's enough chic and stylish elements in there to keep it feeling interesting and elevated. On to my second outfit idea, and this time I wanted to go for a silky and polished low bun, which is a really easy way to instantly make your outfits look and feel more elevated. It's also a great look to reach for in summer because it will keep me cooler in the heat, having my hair out of the way. And there's also a certain elegance to looks like this that I really love. I find it easier to create these looks if my hair is already smooth. So having done the sleek and straight beforehand, is a good place to start. To get a low bun to stay in place all day, I simply do a low ponytail first at the nape of my neck, and then I twist that ponytail and wrap it around the bobble, fixing it in place with an extra elastic. I find that if I go straight to twisting, it'll fall out and it'll look messy within a couple of hours. One of the great things about the light care technology is that it really helps to make the cuticles of your hair remain flat, which is especially helpful if like me, your hair has a tendency to do a bit of a moniker frizz. Once I have my bun in place, I'll go over my fringe in style mode and then switch to cool on the top and the sides just to make sure it's all laying nice and flat. So onto my outfit idea, and the first option with this bun I wanted to share would be this gorgeous cover-up. Now you might remember seeing this in a recent haul that I did on my channel. There I styled it quite typically as if I'm beside the pool, but I was really keen to see if I could also make it work for the evening. So this is what I came up with. And I actually really, really like this look. Obviously this is something that I would probably only wear in the evenings on my holiday, but still definitely something I would wear and nice to be able to get a couple of uses out of everything that I'm going to pack. I'm wearing my swimsuit underneath, which has that perfect low V at the front to work with this dress, but you could easily find a bra that would do the same thing. I've added my new strappy block heels for a sprinkle of Parisian chic and finished with a simple black clutch. Having a low bun with this outfit, I think really completes the look and the whole vibe that I wanted to create. Obviously it feels beachy, but done in a chic and really refined way for lovely summer's evenings in the heat. 
Don't forget to let me know in the comments section below what you think to all of these looks as we go along. It's always really lovely hearing from you all and your support is always greatly appreciated. Chic and stylish looks, outfit idea number three. Depending on how you want to style your hair on any given day, you can choose between the different settings and attachments. I use fast mode to get it 80 to 90% dry, and then style mode for smoothness, cool air to tame those flyaway hairs, and now I'm going to do a little beach wave look with the diffuser. So I've worked down the areas where I would like to add a curl. I tend to start like this a third of the way down as I find that curls going right from the root can look a bit wild and get out of hand. I want it to look like I've just got it a little bit wet in the sea with those authentic beach waves. I actually don't use an awful lot of product on my hair at all, but when I'm creating beach waves, I really do like to add a little bit of salt water spray. It just gives you a bit more texture and it stops the curls looking too beauty queen buffon <laughs> and more boho queen in chilled. Hopefully that makes sense. I think the trick with using a diffuser is to be patient. Not my strong point, but definitely worth it when it comes to hair. Just slowly but surely dry off the hair by lifting it into those nodules. If you move it around too much or really scrunch it up, it will end up looking pretty messy. If you take your time, it's actually a pretty easy look to get right. So to go with my beach wave hair, I'm wearing a new in dress that I bought recently, thinking again of my holiday coming up in the sunshine. And like the cover up I shared before, something that could easily work from day to night. I love these pretty embroidered details on both the chest and the sleeves, and that fluted shape is perfect for the heat too. Made from a blend of cotton and linen, it feels cool against my skin, and that fabric combination makes it feel a little bit vintage somehow too. I've gone true to size with a UK 10, and the fit is light and loose, and it'll work both less straight or maybe cinched in with a belt, so you've got a few different styling options there too. I shall share another outfit idea with my beach wave hair a little bit later in this video, but for the minute, I'm going to go back to sleek and straight. The ZV Halo hair dryer has been described as the Tesla of hair care, which does sum up pretty well the technology behind this brand. I find it quite incredible that I can get nearly 20% smoother and silkier hair just from using a different hair dryer. So running with that chic and stylish look, I wanted to replicate that with my outfit idea. Blazers are always high on my list of key pieces that I personally like to invest in, for my wardrobe, whatever season. I try to avoid polyester and instead opt for more sustainable fabric compositions that will truly last and be breathable throughout summer. Now that certainly doesn't mean you have to spend a fortune. Thankfully, lots of the high street stores are offering more ethical and sustainable alternatives these days. It's just a matter of searching them out or letting me do the searching for you. I've added a new list of favorite blazers that I found recently in the description box below. Now, as you can see, this one is pretty bright white and I love it styled against light wash denim. It's been made from 100% linen, so really good for wicking away moisture in the heat and hopefully keep me feeling chic and polished for longer. In the warmer months, it's quite handy to style a vest top under my blazers to avoid overheating on the sleeves. And shoes wise, I'd actually wear this look in a few different ways, with high tops for something super relaxed, ankle boots on rainy days, flat sandals for more of a casual look in the heat, and something in the middle with my block heel sandals. This is a very typical go-to look for me that hopefully you agree is very easy to interpret with your own wardrobe. Going from sleek and straight to a bun again now, but this time I wanted to share something more easygoing and a bit more carefree than my last look. So rather than get all of my hair perfectly in place, I'm aiming for that perfect Parisian undone kind of vibe. And honestly, the simplest way I can recommend to achieve this is to not use a hairbrush. Literally just gather up your hair in your hands, pull down a few little tendrils as you go, and whereas before I added a bobble to start with, this time I twist straight away, wrap it around itself and put the elastic over the top. Doing it this way gives the hair more of a natural kind of slouch. You get this slight bagging at the back of your hair here, which I personally really like, and once it's in place, you can then gently pull on those sections to make it feel even more effortless and laid back. Looking and feeling chic and stylish does doesn't always have to mean being completely polished to within an inch of your life. You can absolutely feel elevated in the most casual of looks. 
I think the key to getting it right is thinking about the quality of the base first and foremost. And that goes for my hair along with my outfit. I've chosen my fabrics wisely with both my shirt and my jeans, keeping it simple but buying into the nicest quality I can afford. I've ironed everything perfectly so they feel sleek, even if their fit is more relaxed. And my hair too, even though the bun is more natural. Because I was starting with a base of smooth and shiny, it means my hair looks sleek and healthy no matter how casual the style of bun. My final outfit idea, I'm going to be shopping my wardrobe and something I had hidden away and I forgot until recently just how much I love it. One beautiful dress for the evening in this elegant shade of soft pink. Now I think I bought this dress about 10 years ago now and I remember specifically wearing it for a lovely anniversary dinner David and I celebrated in Ibiza. If I can find a picture, I will add it here. But it was a really magical restaurant outside amongst olive trees and surrounded by all these pretty twinkling lights. It's really beautiful. Anyhow, I digress. My point being, when you're on holiday or just somewhere hot, generally I do find it easier to go with the elements as such. For instance, in the evening, my hair wants to go humid crazy. But if I start with a really good base of curls that I've created on purpose, I find that it lasts far better throughout the evening. The curls are on my terms, so to speak. Beach curls with just a little salt water spray works perfectly, and it can be a really chic look for the evening. I also really like the contrast of my hair feeling pretty natural, sat against quite a polished looking evening dress. I think the mixture works really nicely. Now, if you don't want quite so many curls as me, or if you feel like you've gone too far with the diffuser and you want to tame it down a little bit, I would just add the styling concentrator to the halo and focus it down at the start of those curls. Just gently tease through those curls with a little bit of heat for a softer beach wave if you prefer. I'm so impressed with the Zuvi halo and I am really looking forward to seeing the difference to the condition of my hair once I've been using it for a couple of months. I personally spend a lot of time researching for perfect pieces for my wardrobe, the right fabric content, a price within my budget, items that will make me feel chic and stylish and put together. So it does really make sense to not forget about giving my hair the same kind of love and attention. And judging from my own experience, the halo is exactly what my hair needs. But don't just take my word for it, please do click the link in the description box below and read all about the technology behind it for yourself. I am very excited about this brand. It's been an absolute pleasure to share it with you all today and I'm really looking forward to seeing what they come out with next. As always, I would love to hear from you all in the comments section below. Has anyone tried the halo already? Or which was your favorite hair look and outfit idea? It's always really lovely hearing from you all, so do get in touch. Thank you so much for watching everyone. You are one lovely bunch of women and I feel very fortunate being able to chat to you each week. I shall be back on Sunday with lots more outfit ideas and inspiration. So hopefully you'll join me again then. Take care.